Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show live on LinkedIn. I've got the Director of National Partner Programs with Comcast Business, Holly Hunt, on the show today. Uh, after spending some time with Windstream, Holly joined Comcast Business about 10 years ago, and she's held several key positions there, mostly focusing on serving the indirect sales channel. She received her degree in public relations and sports studies at the University of Georgia and is very, very active in a lot of volunteer work. Holly, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, I'm excited. We uh, publicized this. I'm sure there's millions and millions of people crowding the internet right now trying to get a glimpse of you on this show. I, I bet. I know. It's been highly anticipated. Highly. Uh, we've been excited for it. So, yes, good stuff to come. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's start with the easy question. What's new at Comcast? What's new? Well, that um, is an easy question, but it's it's a long winded one. So I will uh, kind of step through some of the some of the things that we're doing in particular with the indirect sales channels. So um, one of the big things that Steve, you and I have discussed um, is teaming. Um, so this is not a new concept, right? A lot of our um, peers out in the industry are already doing this, but Comcast traditionally has not um, done a lot of teaming. Uh, but right now that's a huge focus area for us. And wanted to share just a few stats on how, how well it's going. Um, since we've really launched the program. So in 2020 alone, we saw 89% year-over-year growth um, in the amount of MRR um, in the um, opportunities that were both in our forecast and our funnel. Um, so again, it's really something we launched during the pandemic, I guess, if, if, you, um, if you will. Um, and then we saw a number of opportunities actually quadruple um, during that time period as well. So we have a teaming guide, which I know you have a copy of, Steve. Be happy to share it out uh, with anyone that's um, listening that would be interested in taking a look at it. Uh, that really talks about the value of teaming um, and where the value add is for both the direct sales team and then for our partners. Um, and then, of course, as you know, um, really the guidance is to work with your partner sales managers, um, uh, make sure that you know you're registering your deal with AppSmart. Uh, but that's where really the big thing I think for us right now. But in addition, uh, a lot of uh, innovative things that have been happen in our product space. Um, in particular, again, during a very challenging year, um, we're launching some new products. Um, Waves is, is a big one right now from the connectivity space. Uh, we also are continuing to involve our SD-WAN product. Uh, we're adding UTM. Uh, we're adding a single site offering. So a lot more to come in the SD-WAN space. And then one I think I'm most excited about um, is aggregation. So this has been a hot topic for a while now. And uh, we are hopefully going to be launching that around the Q3 time period. Um, so it will be um, even more of a value add for these, especially these large deals where um, Comcast is, is a lot of places, but we don't have network everywhere. But now we can procure any of the um, sites where we do not have direct connectivity. Um, so that'll be a huge win for us um, to be able to win some of these deals that we weren't able to do otherwise. Um, so I just had a mouthful, but again, like I said, a lot of, of new things going on. That's really cool. Very exciting. Good, good recap and, and good summary because there is a lot going on, going on in Comcast business. Um, and you mentioned to it, but you alluded to it before. And, and, and I talked about it in the beginning that your, you know, your love and your, your real passion at Comcast business is the indirect sales channel. Why don't you talk a little bit about the importance of the indirect sales channel to Comcast business as an overall strategy? Because I think a lot of people get confused and think, oh, Comcast sells direct and, you know, we got to compete with the direct folks and all that. But Comcast has made a huge commitment to the indirect sales channel. You're evidence of that. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Steve. And yes, um, indirect sales, sales channel is a, a critical um, component to Comcast business success. Um, you know, I, 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 I haven't been, as you, as you mentioned earlier in the introduction, um, I'm coming up on 10 years, um, which in, in telecom, I like to say it's like dog years. So it feels like an eternity sometimes. Um, but 10 years with Comcast business, um, I've had a variety of different roles. Uh, but again, was excited to jump into the channel um, in late 2020, just because I've really seen the evidence that the leadership at at Comcast Business understands the value that the channel really brings to the organization. Um, they really recognize that, you know, our the relationships that are both our indirect partners and advisors and agents all have will get us into the doors um, of customers that we wouldn't otherwise have that opportunity to do, to do so. Um, so they really do see the value that we bring. A um, couple quick cool facts. Um, the indirect channel is about the size of a region um, at Comcast Business. So we do get a lot of attention from, from our corporate partners and from headquarters. Um, you know, another fun fact being that it's 2021, we are coming up 
on our 10 year anniversary as well. So uh, the indirect channel at Comcast started in 2011 with just five people, uh, one partner sales manager, one operations uh, person, um, and in that 10-year span have now grown to a team of over 50 people um, in sales, sales type roles, um, and nearly 100 operations people. So significant growth um, in the past 10 years. And then I think it's it's really cool, um, and one of the things that attracted me to the channel is our, our tenured leadership. Um, you know, the Craig Schlagbaum um, is channel chief, very well respected, highly regarded individual in the channel. Um, and our entire um, senior leadership team really has been here since the beginning. Um, so I think that really speaks to the, the tenure, the consistency at the leadership level. Um, Carrie Tingler is, is my boss, is who I report directly into, and he covers the, the national partner program throughout the country for all of our master agents. Um, again, been here since the beginning. So I think it's really cool just to see, especially in, in a, a time and age where you see sometimes uh, you know, a lot of um, churn and, and people moving around. Uh, we've had a very stable, um, you know, leadership team. So, and, and continue to. So, uh, so yeah, uh, great things going on and, and we continue to, uh, to see growth um, even again, despite a, a challenging year last year. Yeah, for sure. And, and that, that was a great recap on the indirect channel. That really tremendous growth going from the beginning, you know, 10 years ago from just five people. So, wow, that's, that's incredible. And you're right about the tenure. I know Craig, he's been there. He's been there forever as well. You guys have a lot of longe longevity and I know you guys treat your, your customers and your sales partners. Well, let's talk a little bit about, let's narrow it down a little bit from the indirect sales channel to the master agent relationship. Of course, you know that, you know, I run the South for app smart. Let's mm -hmm. talk about, um, why don't you address how does the customer benefit by going through app smart instead of going direct or going through another master. Well, you can't really compare masters, but let's just talk about the customer benefit of going through AppSmart. Yeah, well, like you said, there's a lot of value adds with each of the different masters, right? I think they all bring their own unique um, value to the market. Um, and so if you're a partner, an agent, advisor, you know, depending on what you're looking for in a master, it can help you to determine which which route to go. Kind of like if you're a customer and determining your, um, you know, connectivity carrier of choice, um, really finding out what value that particular, um, you know, carrier brings to the market, much like the agent, uh, master agent. So with AppSmart, you know, I've been working with you guys for several months now um, and excited to see your growth um, because you have a lot going on there as well, um, just in terms of acquisitions, um, and integrating those companies. So, you know, some of the things that I think um, the value that you bring to the marketplace is really the additional support at no additional cost. Um, and that's huge, right? Because typically you think, okay, I'm getting more resources, more support, more opportunities or, um, uh, you know, things to be able to, to consider, okay, that's going to have a price tag associated, right? And um, and you don't, you, you get that additional support, but again, no, no additional cost associated. So that's a huge value. Um, another thing I think, I love your marketplace. Um, um, and, and, you know, the App Smart Marketplace, Comcast Business being a part of that, you can really manage your Comcast service through that uh, digital marketplace. I think that is, is, is a huge thing to be able to offer to your agents, your advisors. Um, and then, as I mentioned earlier, um, if I have to sum it up in three points, is really the buying power um, and your acquisition mode. So I think you're really, um, as I, I kind of stand back and look and see you, um, you know, making smart acquisitions to really build out your portfolio, uh, which will ultimately, again, be a value add and win for your advisors. Um, and I really just love the, the innovation, as I've said a couple of times already, and we all are well aware, um, even in a challenging year, I think there's an opportunity for growth. Um, and I've seen AppSmart really take, take that and, and make a positive out of it. So, um, you know, I look forward to seeing what you are going to continue to do um, throughout the remainder of this year and, you know, into the future. Yeah, Holly, I've never had so much fun in my entire career, honestly. I mean, being being with AppSmart and, and seeing what the App Direct, you know, company parent started to just only 12 years ago, and now they're $2.6 billion in annual revenue. I mean, they, wow. have, they have gotten on the front of the digital marketplace subscription commerce platform, and they're just riding that wave, man. People are buying. It's an easy way to buy. It's an easy way to manage your services, and we're the 
the only ones doing it. So yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you brought up the digital marketplace because it's uh, it's definitely our secret sauce, and that's what customers want. Okay, you've said a lot, and and you've you've packed in a lot of stuff. I like to talk. <laughs> You're good at it, and and you've delivered great content. Boil it down to like one thing. What's the call to action? What do you want? What do you want the viewer to walk away with uh, after watching this this live interview? So I think the biggest thing is hopefully um, you've learned something new about Comcast Business, um, the indirect sales program um, that you didn't know before joining. Um, and hopefully something I've said um, piqued your interest, right? So whether um, you are a customer and you've considered Comcast um, or, or considering Comcast Business for your network connectivity needs, um, or you're a, an, an advisor or an agent, a partner, um, and you've thought about adding Comcast Business to your portfolio and, and, and want to know more about, you know, what we, what we can bring, what... Um, beyond, uh, I like to say, what, what do we have beyond bandwidth, right? I haven't really gotten into the product conversation much, but uh, we've done a lot, again, in the past, um, I'd say, two to three years in particular, especially in the, the enterprise um, space, um, security space, which I think is top of mind for everyone right now with what we see going on in the news. So my call to action would really be just give us a, give us a call, give us a shout, connect with me on LinkedIn and let us show what's new and then how we can impact your business. Um, and again, whether that it, you are someone who provides um, services to end users or whether you are an end user, um, I think sometimes I like to say Comcast business is the, the best kept secret, um, but I don't want to be a secret anymore. So I want to, um, you know, let everyone know the things that we are doing, the things that are on our roadmap, um, because we are continuing to be innovative um, and continuing to try to deliver the best in class products and services um, so that we can stay competitive and continue to keep, again, um, powering possibilities. That's our new brand moniker um, that we just rolled out about a month ago. Um, and, and really just, um, again, powering the possibilities for businesses, um, for our partners, for the indirect channel community um and, and i guess you know nationally globally um so give us a call give us a shout we'd love to um have a deeper conversation with you well holly um thank you so much you are not a secret any longer you are now live on the top gun shows being seen by millions and millions <laughs> of people so get ready for your phone to ring for movie offers to come in for your right. life to change completely because you've been on the show. I want to thank you so much for setting aside the time. I know you're really busy. Thank you for putting such thought into this interview. Great job. I, I really appreciated uh, uh, you being on the show today. No, thank you, Steve. I appreciate the opportunity. It was great connecting with you. And um, yeah, look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. And um, for everyone, again, out there listening, would love to connect. So definitely uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. Steve will post my information on how to reach out to me. And, um, and yeah, and also remember Comcast through AdSmart. It's yeah, a great partnership. Yeah. And I think you talked about that you wanted to do a drawing for people that posted comments on this. So yep. um, if you're watching this, if you type in hashtag Top Gun for Comcast, you'll be enter, entered into a, a grand prize drawing of the viewers. We'll probably do the drawing in about three days after millions of people have made com have, have made comments on this. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll go through all the comments, but got a great raffle prize, a Comcast business, uh, a nice um, insulated cooler. Um, so perfect, we're right, you know, summer, summer heat is upon us. Um, so for the hot summer months, Keep your beverages cold. So got a nice Comcast branded cooler that we are uh, happy to raffle off. Uh, so definitely get your comments in. I mean, who doesn't want a Comcast cooler? I mean, and the, you will arrive when you win this prize. So Holly, anyway, thanks, thanks so much for being on the show. It's been great. Yep. Thank you, Steve. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.